Cotter has threatened to pull employees out of the National Social Security Fund if the government kicks it off the board. Secretary General Francis Atwilly issued a statement on Wednesday saying continued political interference will force a joint scheme that will be ruined with the help of the FKE. The joint pension scheme will be run without the contributions of politicians. No one can assume that this scheme will render the NSSF Act impotent. He said. The government has hatched a plot to kick workers and employers representatives from the board of trustees of the NSSF. In moves that appear to target at Willie and Federation of Kenya Employees Executive Director Jacqueline Mugo, the plot will be executed through proposed amendments to NSFF Act, 2013. At Willie said those pushing for his removal want to steal from the workers and then leave. The workers' union boss further alleged witch hunt from those involved in the Hazina Towers case. Chinese contractor Jiangxi International wants to be paid SH 6.7 billion as compensation due to delays caused by the protracted case between Makumat Holding S and NSSF. It took two years to determine the case. On Tuesday, MPs raised questions including why the board extended the contract when it had already elapsed. The NSSF told National Assembly's Committee on Public Investment that the cost of building Hazina Towers in Nairobi is set to significantly reduce from the initial SH 6.8 billion to SH 4 billion. At Willie said he had a dozier on the case and that those who presided over meetings are fighting back. If you read the report from